So do you guys remember that uh, story that I told you last week about the archdiocese of a Catholic school in Indianapolis that wanted to fire a teacher in a same-sex marriage? The reason was so the school could maintain its Catholic identity. Well, the school refused to fire that teacher, but apparently it wasn't a one-off situation. Another school in that diocese went ahead and fired a teacher for the same reason um, later that week. It's happened several times, and our next guest, uh, Shelly Fitzgerald, she's a high school counselor in this same district. Um, she was fired in August, and so we're gonna talk to her. And I also wanna bring in Reverend James Martin, a Jesuit priest and editor-at-large for American Media. Um, Shelly, you were working at this school uh, for 15 years. What went through your mind when they said that they were gonna terminate you uh, for this reason? Well, I, not only I, did I work at the school, but I also attended school there. So I've been a part of that community for the majority of my life. Um, when, you know, back in August when this happened to me, I think that my immediate reaction was just one of, of real sadness, of, of, you know, just a disheartening feeling of being disowned by the community that you've grown up in and loved and trusted. Yeah, it's um, it's uh, interesting. The school actually put out a statement that I, I'm sure you've seen. It says the issue concerning Miss Fitzgerald's employment is not about sexual orientation, but about the church's teaching that marriage is a covenant between a man and a woman as established and revealed by God. What did you think of that statement? Well, I, I mean, I heard that statement. And what I would say is that, uh, you know, when we're not enforcing a policy um, that's that everybody signs off on. And when we're just targeting one specific group of people, that's blatant discrimination. Yeah, and um, Reverend James, I wanna, I wanna bring you in here um, about this statement because the church cites the Bible as the reason for firing people in same-sex marriage. You cite the scripture for everyone to be inclusive. Um, tell us why, how does this work? Well, Shelley is right, it's discriminatory. Uh, if you're going to fire someone for being in a same-sex marriage, you can fire people for all sorts of reasons. You can fire uh, straight married couples for using birth control, for using in vitro fertilization. You can fire people who are divorced. And then more broadly, if you uh, are firing people who don't follow church teaching, follow the Catholic Church teaching, you can fire all Protestants and Jews and Muslims and Hindus and agnostics and atheists. So Shelley is right, it's completely discriminatory. It's just targeting the LGBT employee and uh, it really needs to stop. Yeah, one tweet, I was looking at your um, your tweets earlier and one that stuck out to me is you were saying, what would happen if every LGBT church employee was fired or quit their job? You said basically um, the, enti all the, the entire institution would simply grind to a halt, suggesting that there's a lot of gay and lesbian people that are in this community, yes? Absolutely, uh, there are a lot of uh, LGBT teachers and people who work in parishes and uh, uh, rectories and uh, in bishops' offices. And uh, so, you know, we really can't just target these people simply because we don't like who they are. And once again, uh, if you're going to target people for not following church teaching, that's going to get rid of, uh, you know, a huge group of people. And, uh, you know, it's just discriminatory to pick on one person. I think it's, I think it's really mean. I think that's a word that we have to resurrect uh, in the discussion here. It's just mean to focus on this one group. Do you get any backlash from having this viewpoint? You know, all of these these schools and um, uh, different churches, you know, really abiding by the fact that same sex marriage shouldn't exist. Do you get backlash from thinking the opposite? Yeah, of course I do. Uh, but I point out to them uh, how selective it is. Uh, again, if you're going to fire people like that, you need to fire all divorced people. Uh, Jesus came out against divorce in the Gospels. It's pretty clear. And we don't do that uh, because we're tolerant and we're inclusive and we understand people in the complexity of their lives. The only person that gets uh, their sexual life put under a moral microscope is the LGBT person. And Shelly, um, just, just curious, where does your situation stand now? I also, um, I learned that you were the Grand Marshal in the Indianapolis Pride Parade, which I think is really awesome. But where is the situation now um, in terms of your employment? Well, I have been notified that, that I will not be renewed, my contract will not be renewed next year. Um, so my termination with the archdiocese is is complete. Um, and right now, my focus, you know, personally is just to continue being a catalyst for change to bringing the community together of Indianapolis, but ultimately, you know, the community of, of Catholics or people who are looking for, you know, faith-based place to live, just discrimination in general. My fight now 
is to just ensure that that people are included, that people feel loved, and that people have a, a, someone to stand up for them. All right, so I wanna thank uh, Shelly Fitzgerald and Reverend James Martin for joining us today. We appreciate all of this. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.